Every small business, no matter the type and size, needs to integrate a seamless workflow system in order to get work done as effectively and efficiently as possible. This is where project management tools like Asana and Monday.com come in. These project management tools allow you to simply set organizational goals, track team or individual performance, manage projects and tasks, automate workflows, and more. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. Now in this brief comparative guide on Asana vs Monday.com, I'm going to help you identify the best project management software for your small business between Asana and Monday.com. Okay, so before we launch into Asana and Monday.com, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out the way, let's go ahead and identify the best project management software for your small business. Okay, so first let's dive into the free plans that both Asana and Monday.com provide. Now depending on the size of your small business, you might be able to get away with just leveraging the free plans. Let's take a look at Asana first. Asana's free plan allows up to 15 users completely for free and gives you access to essential features including unlimited projects and tasks and three different project view types. Then pricing per user starts at $10 $99 per month. For organizations that require more users and access to more advanced features like automation and more detailed reporting. On the other hand, Monday.com's free plan is only suitable for up to two users, and again with similar features to Asana's free plan. However, the pay plan offers a more comprehensive package and a more affordable price per user, starting at $8 per user per month. The standard plan, similar to Asana's premium plan, offers more extensive integrations and automation for users. Next, we need to talk about the user experience and the visually pleasing interface that both tools offer. Both tools provide multiple project views like a list, board, timeline, calendar, view, and more. Personally, I find Asana is more visually pleasing and structural or less overwhelming for basic workflows using the list view. However, Monday.com is more suitable for organizations that have more complex projects or workflows using the comprehensive timeline view. In terms of the overall user experience, Monday.com provides a more enjoyable and visual experience. Also, all Monday's plans come with more storage than what Asana offers in each of its plans. So consider the size of your project files. And if most of your project files are large, then Monday will be the best option for you. Now, both tools equally offer extensive integrations with your favorite productivity and business tools to further streamline the seamless activities between your different tools. Next, let's discuss automations used to streamline your project workflows. Both Asana and Monday.com offer automations with the premium plan for Asana and standard plan for Monday.com. Asana allows you to set up rules with the workflow builder to automate certain processes. However, I personally find Asana a little more confusing to set these up compared to the ease of use setting up automations inside of Monday.com. With Monday.com, you can simply choose a pre-made template and customize the automation with just a few clicks. Okay, so to sum up both these project management tools, Asana's free plan is more suitable for small businesses with small and basic project requirements. Also, Asana is ideal for personal use using the list view. Basically, Asana has a more comprehensive free plan. Monday.com, on the other hand, we typically recommend for more complex project requirements and workflows. Also, Monday keeps the user in mind in terms of the ease of use and actually navigating the platform, as well as having a not so steep learning curve, especially when it comes to learning how to use more advanced features like setting up automations. 
Okay, now if you want to learn more about getting started with Asana, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will take you through getting up and running with Asana. And also what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for getting started with monday.com if you believe that monday.com is the project management solution for your small business. And there we have it guys, that is it for this monday.com vs Asana comparative guide for small businesses. Now if you have any questions about both of these tools, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you next time. Take care.